The Florida Current, an online news service smartly covering politics and policy. Subscribe for free daily alerts at thefloridacurrent.com. The state's new $63 million online unemployment system has experienced a multitude of massive problems, leaving Floridians in limbo as they wait for their benefits to be processed. It seems like it'll work out, but, you know, it's just taking a little longer than I thought it would. Similar complaints have been heard across the state since October. They can't get on. They got to call the 1-800 um, number and get help with it. But um, I didn't have that problem. As the state tries to get the unemployment site fully functioning, they will hire more than 300 new employees. The state continues to withhold $3 million from the vendor Deloitte, as well as enforcing a $15,000 per business day penalty. Department of Economic Opportunity Director Jesse Panuccio says if the vendor is unable to fix the problem, the state will start looking elsewhere for a solution. Our number one priority is getting claimants paid, and so we need to get this system fixed now. 100 employees who reviewed the claims will be hired in January and February, with an additional 50 in March. Another 80 will be added to the call centers to help a high volume of calls generated by the computer problems. In Tallahassee, I'm Matt Horn reporting.